what is the trick? What is the secret? That I quote from the Quran in and out and I give references. It's an open secret. The open secret is the Quran. Allah says in the Quran number one. There are three points. I'll go step by step. Number one, Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran chapter 3 verse 160. If Allah helps you, none can overcome you. If Allah forsakes you, who is there then who can help you? So let the believers put the trust in Allah. Number one is help of Allah. Without Allah's help, you cannot do it. That's the reason yesterday when the program was titled, Ask and you shall be answered, I corrected. Ask and inshallah you shall be answered. If inshallah is not there, you ask me, brother, what is 2 plus 2? And believe me, I am not be able to answer. So number one is Allah's help. If Allah helps you, none can overcome you. If Allah forsakes you, who is there then who can help you? So let the believers, the moments, put the trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one is Allah's help. Number two, Allah says in Surah an kabut chapter 29, verse 69. You strive in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To jihad fi sabilillah. And Allah will open up your pathways. So number two is striving in the way of Allah. If you strive, Allah promises, He will open up your pathways. If your pathways aren't open, it's not Allah's fault, it is your fault. You have not striven enough correctly. So if you are striving and you don't get success, don't blame Allah. Allah promises, if you strive, you have to get success. If you don't get success, that means the way you are striving is not correct. Or how much you are striving is not enough. Hard work. People think, oh you know, Zakir is just coming in. It is hard work. People think Zakir gets up from the sleepwalker today morning is the talk. So I was discussing with Dr. Bilal Phillips in the morning. That you know, it is, even though I have given the talk many times, there are thousands of verses from the Quran, from the Hadith, from the Bible. The more you polish, the more you reach perfection. In terms of delivery. And we are, huge. We are human beings, we can make mistakes. We don't say we are infallible, not at all. Only Allah is infallible. So no, first is believe in Allah. Second is striving. Number third Allah says in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse 43. And Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 7. First alu al zikri in kuntum la talam. If you don't know, ask the person who is an expert, who is knowledgeable. Third is the technique. Third is the technique. And people ask me, brother, what's the technique? <laughs> you should ask me, how do you get Allah's help? See, the third least important people ask me, what is that? They have to ask me, which is the most important? How do you get Allah's help? Brother, what's the technique? Let us know. <laughs> technique is least important. With all the technique in the world, if Allah does not help you, you will never be able to do it. Believe me. Never. So number one is Allah's help. How do you get Allah's help? Read the Quran, follow the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, read the Sahih Hadith, follow the commandments of the Prophet. The more closer you get to Allah and the Rasul, inshallah, more success you get. Second is striving. Yes, brother. You have something? to do something for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he wants to spread his message so he has lost that which he had earlier how does he do it our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in Sahih Bukhari Balli wa niwa lo aya propagate even if you know one verse so best is you start as long as you know correctly what you don't know you should not speak if you know one thing you know about Allah no surah class at least propagate that if they ask you how you don't know no problem don't give wrong answers come back and do your homework we have a Dawah training program as far as the third aspect is concerned, the training session. We have training session where we train Duat and how to have public speaking and how to memorize and how to give references. And believe me, even a Hafizul Quran 
who is the hafiz of the Quran, they cannot give references. They cannot give references. They can quote the Quranic verse in Arabic, alhamdulillah, if they are good. They cannot give references. This is a different technique. And technique is again based on Allah and the Rasul. It's nothing something. You know, we have a student who have done MBA, who have done mapping and triangle. I don't know whether you know all these techniques of memory, you know. MBA students, you know, you know we have done MBA and you know, mapping and triangle and so and so forth. And this logic and systematic logic of hyper whatever it is. Initially, when they start the course in the first couple of days, they are on top. Towards the end of the day, yeah, end of the course, they are behind. Best technique is Allah's help. They, in this session, no one has the time. See, people think I'm Hafizul Bible. I'm not. Sheikh Didas also was not. Sheikh Didas, mashallah, my guide, my mentor, the person who inspired me. And the reason I'm here, mashallah, I know, mashallah, you are the great scholar. On Islam by religion, I consider myself to be a student, but even he did not know the full Bible. What we do, we tell you what is required. We first do a survey and first gather all the verses quoted by the Christian missionary. So what we do, all the verses of Christian missionary that have quoted, how many? Maybe a few hundred. Then another couple of hundred verses to prove the Islamic point from the Bible. Only three four. The Bible may have few thousand verses, not few thousand, I don't know. Maybe twenty, thirty thousand verses, I don't know. I haven't done a survey. But tens of thousands of verses. Out of which you memorize only a couple of hundred. And he tells you. But the Zakir, Jesus said, peace be upon and my father upon. Oh, you're quoting Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse 29. And he's shocked. <laughs> I'm quoting the verse, he's giving reference. Half the battle is won. He's stunned. The Christian missionary doesn't know the reference. He is half the battle is won. Who is this person quoting reference? From my book. I am a missionary and he's quoting. There it says, and then you have to know your stuff also. I was doing an interview and the person asked me the same question. I gave the reference, the context. I asked him, what is the context? He doesn't know the context. He's been brainwashed. Okay, this is sufficient. I said, do you know the context? He says, no. Okay, I'll give you the context. Go to verse number 23. And that has been memorized. So we give you, like, you know, when you, when you appear for an examination. In India, we have 21 most likely questions. You know? Everywhere you have, you know, that if you want to get through, the most likely question. So we prepare a package for you. Remember these 50 verses of the Bible? Inshallah, it will be very good. Another 50 verses of the Bible, then you can debate with the Pope also. <laughs> Same thing with the Quran. You can memorize the full Quran, but these few verses. First we give you, we memorize these 50 verses of the Quran. It is more important for Dawah in answering the question of non-Muslim. Then another 50, then another 50. Now it has become thousands, mashallah. But when you start, even if you know a couple of hundred verses of the Bible, if not all, you can answer most of the questions of the non-Muslims. Instead of you memorizing the answer of 200 questions, which are uncommon, memorize the answer of only 20 most common questions, you'll do a better job. With reason, logic and science. You know, scientific answer, logical answer, with scriptures, quoting the Vedas. And it's a 40 day course only. It's a 40 day course where if you do that course, you know, it is striving hard in that course. It's long, it's more than 12 hours a day and a lot of homework, etc. If you do this course, inshallah, inshallah, you know, you are at least, you have some knowledge of how. But the main thing is Allah's help and how much you strive. And you can go online to our website, www.irf.net. There is a Dawa training program, DTP. The material is in a couple of thousand pages. You can download it, it's free. But if you do that <coughs> part from the notes, you will be doing 10 to 15 percent of the course. Because if I teach you swimming for 10 years and don't put you in water, you never learn swimming. You have to enter into water. So that water is when you do the course personally there. On the stage, modulation, eye to eye contact. Why do I stand? Because my body speaks. So all this, you know, it's a training program where we gave, where we give. And how to be impactful. The same answer can be given in various ways. How to convince. Giving an answer is very easy. Giving an answer is easy. Giving a convincing answer is difficult. So how to give a convincing answer is the technique number one Allah says. Then striving technique. We can go to our website www.irf.net and inshallah you will get inshallah something from that. Hope that's the question.